And while we're still on the event topic, let me throw you a mind grenade. Remember, I believe two videos ago when we discussed the basic setup in vanilla JS, we use this example. Now what is happening over here? I have here an anonymous callback function, right? Now, of course, you can set up here the variable, set it equal to a function, or you can pass here directly arrow function, which by default is anonymous. The main point is that we can directly pass in anonymous function. So do you think we can do that in React? And of course, the answer is yes. So you'll also see this alternative approach where instead of setting up those functions here, or in the file or in the separate file, we pass the anonymous function directly. So in my case, of course, I'm passing here the arrow function. Now, please keep in mind, we're not invoking it over here. We just pass the function. So of course, this logic is going to run when? Well, when we click on a button in this case. So let's try it out. I'm going to navigate back. Of course, I keep repeating this, but I just want to make it clear. All of this code is available in the readme for your reference. So I'll simply do this. I'll remove and I don't think I'm going to worry about the on submit. So let me remove it. Keep in mind that yes, essentially it works the same way. But instead of using reference, I'm going to go with my arrow function and then whatever logic we want to do. In our case, what do we want to do? We simply want to log. Yes, for now, we'll just be a little bit conservative. So let's go here with console log and then say, click me. And of course, we'll have an error because we don't have here the reference. So let's do the same thing. And I guess one of the major gotchas here is that we still have access to this event object. So that doesn't change. If I want to go with log, and inside of it, I want to go with event.target.value. I'll still access whatever is in the input. And yes, it's still going to fire every time the user types something in the input. Again, those things don't change. But you'll see this shorter syntax. Is there a rule? No. If you want to use this one, use this one. If you want to set up the reference, use that one. Mostly it depends on how much logic you have. If let's say you have this input, and you're just accessing the value, quite often you'll see this approach. If you have some kind of button click and then there's 20 lines of code, theoretically you can set it up over here. Just keep in mind that you'll have to set up the curlies and all of that. But I mean, most realistically, then you'll set up a reference function and now check it out. Both of them work exactly the same, but effectively we just have less lines of code.